Is it a boy or is it a girl? <laughs> oh, hi. Didn't see you come in there. <laughs> My name's Reese, and this is a speech about how people love to question where I have a penis or a vagina. <laughs> For example, yesterday I was in the boys' changing rooms, keyword being they're boys, when a boy came up to me and asked whether I was a boy or a girl in the boys' changing rooms. <laughs> or when I walk into school, and the first thing I have the pleasure of hearing is, Oh, you, you look like an emo, get your hair cut. But I suppose we can't really blame society, simpletons. I mean, from an early age, we're taught that Barbie dolls were for girls and soldiers were for boys. And long hair definitely wasn't for boys. And girls definitely weren't meant to cut their hair short, aside from the ones we call nasty names. You're also probably thinking, why not just cut it? Solve all your problems. I could think of deep, long, philosophical, perhaps even religious reasons why I keep it long. But the truth is, I think it looks cool. <laughs> Shock horror, right? Another thing, you're probably th another thing you're probably asking is, it's just hair. I mean, who cares? I do, okay? Because it's constantly being harassed, you know, asking whether you're a girl or a boy. It's get it gets annoying after a while. It's misidentification. It's being called a circle when you're a square. It's being called Welsh when you're English. It's misidentification, and at least society has created these gender norms that we all have to conform to. What's the point? No one wants to be themselves anymore. No one can express themselves. So my hair is a challenge to everyone in this room to accept who they are. Thank you.